Hello, welcome to Rose Movie Recap Channel. The prosecutor comes to their house, and they are having dinner together. Everyone is welcoming him warmly and treating him well. He confesses how he first thought that all of them are dangerous people who are not capable of changing. However, he has changed his mind now and believes that all of them are kind people and have truly changed their paths to a good direction. He now knows that Unha is in good hands now with a caring family. Jiwan and the prosecutor go outside to talk to each other. He asks Jiwan to help him catch his father and Yang Hui. They shake hands to prove that they are joining hands to bring the evil down. At night, he sees that Unha is getting ready to go outside. She grabs his hand and asks him to get changed too, to go for a night walk outside. He always listens to her and does what she asks him. They go outside together and start walking. She tells him how happy she is now to have a great family like them because she never had a caring family as her parents never loved her. However, now she feels loved in this family. Juwan is glad to see her happy. Una tells him to scream out loud to let go all of his anger and frustration. However, Juwan is too shy to do it, so she is screaming instead of him. They are enjoying their time when he notices her hairband getting loose. He is tying her hair and says, my beautiful Unha. This reminds her of the past when they were kids. Her Hyun Vu Opa also did the same thing and said the same exact words. She wants him to repeat those words and he apologizes for informally calling her. They both hold each other's hands and go back home. After this, she becomes suspicious that Jiwan might be Hyun Vu because she remembers Jiwan talking about the number game that he used to play when he was a kid and that game was the same exact one that Hyun Vu taught Unha in the past. All the puzzle pieces are slowly coming together. Unha decides to call the prosecutor and meet with him because she knows that he is aware of Hyun Vu's real identity. She meets with him and asks him to tell her if Juwan is the person that she has been looking for in all these years. He confirms it. She doesn't hesitate and runs to get to him. She keeps calling him, but he left his phone in the car. Jiwan goes to meet with his father. He wants to make it clear for him that he has no intention of joining the gang again. His father says that even though he betrayed him and made him go to jail for 10 years, he still wants him to join the gang because he wants that kind of spirit who fights for survival and doesn't even care for his own family. However, Jiwan keeps saying that they are unrelated and he is different from him because he now has a family whom he loves and wants to protect, and he never wants to be related to him again. His father is ready to do anything to bring his son back to business, as he sees the potential in him despite knowing that he has completely changed over the past years. After the meeting with his father, he walks back home. Uha goes back home and calls Donkey, but he says that Juwan isn't back yet. She walks around the neighborhood to find him until they see each other. He is shocked to see her crying and running around the streets with a very worried face. She approaches him with teary eyes by telling him if he thought she would never recognize him. Unha apologizes to him for not recognize him this entire time. She can't stop crying and let goes all her emotions. He gets emotional too and doesn't hesitate to get close to her and hug her tightly. He says sorry to her for coming to her this late. They share a romantic and emotional moment together. They go back home and start having a conversation. He tells her that the reason of not telling her the truth earlier was that he thought she might be disappointed to find out that Hyun Vu, who wanted to be a prosecutor and was a very kind kid, has become an ex-gangster. He wanted her to have the good version of him in her mind and not ruin it for her. She then says that both Hyun Vu and Ji Won were nice to her and protected her and she is now very happy to find out that he is the boy whom she spent her childhood with. They are happy to be with each other. They sleep together. In the morning, when she wakes up, she is happy that he is beside her. She slowly gets up, so she won't awaken him. She prepares breakfast for him to serve it in the bed and surprise him. She wants him to have a happy life now, and to forget his painful past, which has become a burden on his shoulders. Una brings the breakfast and he wakes up being surprised to see this scene. She starts feeding him and suddenly calls him Jiwan Opa, which she has never called him informally before. He gets very happy and doesn't know what to say. 
but after a pause, he also starts calling her informally as Unhaya. He happily gets out of the room, but tries to not make any noise. However, Jisoo sees him and calls him. Jiwon runs and covers his mouth, so others won't hear him, but Manho and Hongi also see him getting out of Unha's room. They start teasing him, which makes him very shy. Now everyone knows that they are officially together, and they tease him by saying that they are waiting for their kid. One day, Jiwon drinks a little and gets drunk when he was at Unha's friend's house with Il Yong and Unha. He gets drunk, and she helps him to go to his room. When she wants to leave, he pulls her hand and makes her lie on the bed beside him. She starts the conversation about marriage, that if he has ever thought about getting married. He says no, and he wants other family members to get married first. She starts getting angry and asks him how long he should wait for everyone to get married, but he doesn't get her point. Unha is very furious and tells him that she's tired and wants to sleep. She then leaves, but he still hasn't read the room about what's going on. The next morning, she checks her channel and sees that the subscribers have reached 10,000. She gets very excited and starts screaming out loud. All the family members gather to celebrate it with her. Jiwan comes downstairs while having headache from last night's drinking. He hears the news and runs to her. They both start jumping up and down. He is very happy and excited for her success in this journey. While looking at his face, she suddenly remembers his last night's words about marriage. Her smile fades away and she stops jumping. Una leaves the room by saying that she has something to take care of. On his way to work, he talks about this to Il Yong. Il Yong says that he should buy a gift to make her happy. Jiwan gets all his advice from Il Yong as he doesn't have any dating experience. The same day, he goes to a jewelry shop to buy a gift for Unha. He says that he wants to buy a necklace for his girlfriend, who is very kind and cute, and when she smiles, she becomes even cuter. He describes her with all the positive adjectives. He finally finds the one and starts smiling. He buys sunflowers again, because this is her favorite flower, and goes home with the gifts. But she isn't in her room, so he goes to his room to get changed and wait for her. Unha is hiding in his room to surprise him, but she is the one who gets surprised because she stands up and calls him while he is getting changed and is shirtless. Both of them scream and get shocked. She gives him a special cupcake that she made for him. He gets very happy and tells her that he has prepared something special for her too. He gives her the flowers, and she gets touched that he still remembers that her favorite flower is sunflower. He wants to give her the necklace too, but realizes that he has left it in the office. Jiwan suddenly turns around and takes his hands out of his pocket by showing hearts. He pretends that was his surprise. He gets close to her and promises her that he will always be by her side, no matter what happens in the future, and will never leave her again. He forgot to bring the necklace, but they reunited and comforted each other. This happy and peaceful moment gets interrupted by Jiwan's father, who goes to Juwan's company by his gang to create a chaos. They enter the conference room and scare all the employees. Juwan also goes there and sees the mess his father has created there. Half of the employees get scared of his father and want to resign where the other half are supporting him. They start fighting with each other, where Juwan suddenly picks up a glass and breaks it to silence everyone. He orders his father to leave immediately his father leaves because he has succeeded in creating the chaos in the company. Jiwan's hand is hurt, and he becomes very confused and frustrated. In the same day, Unha is having an event with children for her channel. The prosecutor also goes there and helps her in the event. Jiwan was supposed to go there too, but that incident happened. They are having a fun time with the children. Prosecutor is also there because he is worried that something might happen to her. When the event is over, she takes the trash to throw it in the trash can. However, at that moment, two men attack her from behind. She uses the technique that Jiwan taught her to release herself, but Yang Hui appears there too, trying to kidnap her. However, prosecutor comes and rescues her. One of those men wants to hit her head with a brick, but prosecutor covers her and gets hit. His head starts bleeding. Jiwan manages to get there. When he gets out of the car, he hears her screaming. He goes there and sees that the prosecutor is on the floor bleeding. Jiwan is shocked from the scene. 
he suddenly sees Yang Hui and starts hitting him. He is hitting him nonstop and can't control his anger anymore. Police arrives there and tries to stop him, but he still resists. At that moment that his face is covered with hatred and anger, Unha is staring at him, which makes him freeze for a moment because this is the first time that she sees this side of him. He is kind of regretting now. They take the prosecutor to a hospital, and he is fine now. He insists that he doesn't want to stay at the hospital and should go to the police station. Unha wants to go there too, but he tells her to go back home. They take both Juwan and Yang Hui to the police station. As the police is asking questions from them, prosecutor comes in and testifies that he is the victim, and Juwan tried to help them. They release Juwan, but Hien Vu pushes Juwan to the wall and tells him that he's supposed to protect Unha, but let that incident happen, which could have harmed her. When he goes out, Unha runs to him and stares at his hand's wound. She is very worried about him. Juwan's father is also there in front of the station. When he sees his father, he pushes Unha away so his father won't think they are close. Then he leaves with Il Yong without talking to anyone else. He starts thinking about the prosecutor's words and believes that he is dangerous for Unha and she should be away from him to be safe. He doesn't go home and sleeps in the company. She keeps calling him, but he doesn't answer her. Everyone at the house is depressed because his sit is empty for the first time. She doesn't leave the house, but others insist her to stay at her friend's house for safety. She goes to Miho's house. Miho tells her to break up with Jiwan, but sees that her friend has fallen deeply in love with him and doesn't want to give up on him in any situation. The next day, he goes back home, and he straight goes to her room. He finds the paper where in the past, he wrote the things she needs in the hospital. At the bottom of the page, she drew an arrow and wrote, I only need Jiwan. This makes him miss her even more. They both are missing each other. Unha has an idea to boost the company's profit. She meets with Hongi and Yena in a cafe without telling Juwan about it. They all go to the house to film a video at her room. Her idea is to promote the products by doing a food challenge with Yena in their channels. When they want to leave, Juwan and Dong He also arrive. At first, he is frozen while looking at her. He first asks Dong He to take her back to her friend's house, but then regrets and says that he will take her back. She stops him and tells him that he promised her to be with her all the time, but he is now facing away from her. He can't control his feelings anymore, turns around, pulls her towards himself, and hugs her tightly. He says that he was very scared of losing her and putting her into danger. That's why he avoided talking to her. She tells him that the thing that scared her the most was not seeing him again. He then puts on the necklace for her and asks her to wait for her until he fixes the things. She is ready to wait for him as much as he wants. Juwan wants to put an end to this, so no one will harm his family ever again. He drops her off to her friend's house. Unha and Yena post their challenge video. It becomes viral, where many people on social media, including celebrities, start doing the challenge with the company's sausages. Their products become more popular and their sales increase. Jiwan is very happy to see her helping him and boost the employee's mood and energy. He is now more determined to defend and protect his employees against Hang Yui and his father. His father calls Jisoo and asks him to meet him without telling his son about it. He is setting a trap for his son. Hang Yui gets released under probation. He wants to get revenge from Jiwan's father, who left him and wants his son back in the gang. Jisoo goes to meet Jiwan's father. He starts begging him to not bother his boss again as he has changed his life. He starts hitting him, but Jisoo doesn't stop begging him to stay away from his boss and family. Jiwan calls the prosecutor. He tells him that he has found the ledger, which is in the liquor company. If he goes inside and takes the ledger out, then the evidence will be legal. He asks him to go there in 30 minutes. He is ready to give up his life in order to protect his family. He opens the door but sees that Jisoo is hanging while his mouth is closed, and his father is sitting there. They have found out about his plan. His father asks him to join the gang, and he will release Jisoo or else they will continue hitting him. Juwan then runs and covers Jisoo and gets hit. They start hitting Juwan. His father approaches him and tells him that he is similar to him 
and can't escape from his fate. His head is bleeding. He suddenly notices Hang Yui, who is coming from the back, while holding a knife in his hand. He wants to stab his father. However, Ji Wan covers his father and gets stabbed by Yang Hui. His father is shocked and can't believe that he did this for him. He can't control himself anymore and falls on the ground. He showed his father that he cares for him but doesn't want to be by his side anymore. As he is lying on the ground, he imagines Unha because she is the one whom he loves a lot and wants to see her. He says, Unha, I will come back home. Police comes and they take him to the hospital. Everyone comes there and all of them are worried that something will happen to him. When he gets out of the surgery room, the doctor says because of excessive bleeding, he is in coma now and there is no definite time that he will wake up. All of them are very worried about him. Prosecutor is interrogating Juwan's father and asks him to testify everything about the money laundering. He is not talking and only asks if Juwan has awakened. He seems to be worried about him. Unha is sitting beside him, grabs his hand and wants to comfort him. She says that he has gone through so much pain and hardships throughout his life, but everything will be fine now as she is by his side now. Her necklace fell off before the incident. Her friend fixes it and gives it back to her to wear it. She starts crying because she is very worried that he won't wake up. The next day, Jisoo comes to visit him. She goes downstairs to leave them alone. Jisoo then sees Juwan's gray hair and he's trying to pull them off. As he is pulling off his gray hair, he suddenly says, stop, it's hurting. Juwan becomes conscious. Una comes back to the room and sees that he is standing. This shocks her and she runs to him. He hugs her tightly. She tells him that her necklace got broken, but as soon as she fixed it, he gained his consciousness. Others hear the news and become very happy. Prosecutor tells Juwan's father that his son has gained consciousness. He becomes relieved. He then says that he will now confess to everything. After confessing to everything, he goes to jail. Some time passes. Juwan visits his father in the jail. He tells him that he might not be the perfect son for him, and he isn't the perfect father for him, but he will welcome him if he changes in the future. However, his father says that he doesn't have a son anymore, and he then leaves. He does this because he doesn't want to cause trouble for Juwan again, as it seems that he has realized his mistakes. All the family members gather to eat dinner and celebrate their reunion. Jiwan makes some gestures to Unha to signal her that he wants to be alone with her. He then pretends that his wound is hurting and signals Unha to take him to his room. She then carefully helps him to go to his room. She checks his wound. He tells her about his visit to his father and everything that happened. He gently kisses her and says, I love you. She says, I love you too. He asks her to sleep with him tonight and kisses her again. She again has another event with children, where they are playing games together. He is standing in distance and is watching her with a big smile on his face. It's similar to the beginning of the drama, where he first saw her in the festival and fell in love with her. He can't stop loving her. He wants to propose to her and keeps writing plans, but doesn't reach a conclusion. He is very frustrated. However, as usual, Il Yang comes to his rescue and gives him advice to surprise her and propose to her. He is always there in those situations. He wants to create a memorable proposal, which is unique. One day, Unha gets back home and sees that all the lights are off. Then lights suddenly are turned on. Jiwan has decorated the entire yard for him as all their childhood memories were there. So he wants to propose to her there to make it more memorable and special for her. He takes out the ring and proposes to her by saying, Will you always be by my side and play with me? She gets emotional and says yes. They hug each other and then kiss. All the family members are watching them and get emotional too. The drama ends with the scene showing all seven family members together wearing jackets. They are walking together, which seems like they are on an important mission. They suddenly take off their jackets. They all are wearing colorful clothes as they want to perform for the kids. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for upcoming recap videos. Bye everyone.